We are extremely privileged uh, today, not just to be commenting on what we think is going to happen on Capitol Hill with the McBride fight, the question of whether or not women on Capitol Hill still get to have their own bathrooms. We actually get to speak to the woman who is leading the charge to defend reality and the rights of women. That would be Congressman Nancy Mace. Representative Mace, thank you so much for taking the time to come on the show. Yes, sir. And thank you for talking about this really important topic. Do women have rights or not is the question at the end of the day. And it, it needs to be answered. It's a simple question. I was hoping that all of your colleagues in the Republican conference would leap at this and say, you know, this is so obvious. As a matter of justice, women deserve their own bathrooms. Even as a matter of politics, the vast majority of Americans are on board with reality on this issue. And yet, so far, you are basically the lone voice. So please uh, tell me a little bit, what is this resolution you are proposing and what are the next steps? Well, I filed a resolution this week that would ban biological men from women's private spaces. So that would be the bathroom, changing rooms, locker rooms up here on Capitol Hill. But I'm not going to stop there. I'm also filing a bill uh, that we're giving you exclusive uh, co a copy to and copy with uh, that would ban ban biological men from women's restrooms and women's private spaces in every federal property across the entire country. So I'm going to do everything I can to protect women and girls here on the Hill, but also all across the nation. I mean, this question needs to be answered. Do women have rights or not? Are we going to allow these men to bully us into submission? And I say, no, no more. I'm done with this. I mean, I was built for tough. There's no amount of bullying and threats on my life that they've made this week. That's going to stop me from this. And I was the first woman to graduate from the Citadel, the Military College of South Carolina. I was built for a tough and I am not going to back down. And I'm urging my colleagues to join me in this fight. This is common sense. This isn't controversial. So you, you mentioned this is this is an exclusive. Thank you for uh, breaking yeah. the news here. You're not merely introducing a resolution into the House to say, look, uh, me female members of Congress get to have their own bathrooms. You, you're yeah. going further to say, we're going we're gonna to defend reality and the rights of women on all federal properties. My first take is, wow, that's, that's so ambitious and radical. And then I have to correct myself. I say, wait a second. This is the way things <laughs> always were. This is just common yeah. sense. But I guess common sense isn't so common right now. Well, it, common sense is out the window. I, there are literally members of Congress today that are saying I'm a bigot and that I'm a bully because I'm defending my right to privacy. Now, a lot of people may not know I'm a survivor of rape. I was raped at the age of 16. I'm also a survivor of domestic abuse and sexual abuse. And so I am absolutely triggered by the idea of a man's genitalia being in my bathroom or my or a locker room or a space where I'm changing. That is a hard pass for me. And it and it will it will come to throws. There will be fists if this happens. I mean, I just can't even. I'm absolutely triggered by the idea that women don't have rights in this country. And I'm going to make sure that I that I protect them. And this shouldn't this shouldn't be controversial. I came from a district that's as purple as my dress. And as you say, independents are with us. There are most Democrats that are with us. It's just the radical left that are forcing this crazy gender ideology down the throats of our children and other Americans across the country for one half of one percent. I'm not giving up women's rights for one half of one percent of people in this country. I'm being threatened by some of these men dressed as women. They're li literally threatening to kill me if they can't use a women's restroom. And I ask why? Like, it's it's to me. Go to HomeTitleLock.com, promo code Knowles. Did you know that American homeowners have over $32 trillion in equity? Cyber criminals are targeting it with a scam the FBI calls house stealing. It's shockingly simple. With one forged document and a fake notary stamp available online, criminals can transfer your home's title to their name. From there... They can take out loans or even sell your home all without your knowing. You won't discover it until foreclosure or collection notices appear in your mailbox. There is a simple solution with triple lock protection from Home Title Lock. Here's what it does. It monitors your title 24-7, alerts you instantly to any title changes, and if fraud occurs, their team restores your title at no extra cost. When was the last time you checked your home title? Like most people, probably never. That is exactly what scammers are counting on. How can you stop them? You head to HomeTitleLock.com, use promo code Knowles, K-N-W-L-E-S, for a free title history report and a 30-day free trial of triple lock protection. Do not wait. Protect your home before it is too late. Go to HomeTitleLock.com, promo code Knowles. Of course, in many ways, you're, you're the perfect uh, champion for this issue because, well, what, you're a woman, uh, despite the modern confusion. But 
Two, you you come from a purple district. You are not the most far right-wing representative by any stretch. You're willing to reach across the aisle and work with people. Uh, you, as you say, you, you were the victim of sexual violence yourself, so you, you know the consequences of blurring these boundaries and taking away women's private spaces. Uh, this really is scandalous to me. I know that politics, yeah. there are all sorts of crazy fights that happen, but it, it is really scandalous to me that in, in the year of our Lord, 2024, women mm-hmm. are being told, hey, if you insist on having your private spaces that you've had f- for time immemorial, uh, if you insist on on not being in vulnerable positions in front of men, uh, that that you're somehow a bigot. I mean, what do you say to these the colleagues of yours who are, who are accusing you of bullying this new member of Congress, Tim McBride? Well, I, I can't say what I want to say because it'd be a four-letter word, <laughs> to be frank. I, I went to the military college and I use very colorful language. It's not okay because I'm literally being bullied and they're trying to bully me yeah. into submission. And it's just, it's not it's not going to work. This is a fight. I mean, if Democrats want to die on this hill, not once but twice, they didn't learn from the election two weeks ago. This Women's issues were on the ballot and women overwhelmingly they they supported Republicans more so than they supported you know Biden four years ago. I mean Kamala didn't win women overwhelmingly the way that Joe Biden did because Joe Biden didn't have these crazy far left policies. He didn't want to pay the government to pay for gender surgery. For I mean this stuff is is crazy, and you know we have to draw a big fat red line in the sand yeah. and say no more because my rights are worth fighting for. Your daughters, my daughters' rights are worth fighting for. I'm going to die on this hill. Yeah. And I'm not I'm not going to allow it. And this is just the start to see the the left just become totally unhinged means that we're winning. They're now not only are they, th- they threatening to kill me, but, you know, now they're making all these personal smears and taking shots at me, you know, and I'm like, bring it. I'm not going to go quietly in the night. You're, I'm just going to double down on a really important issue for women all across the country, because conservatives and Republicans, we're going to be the party that protects women. It ain't going to be the left. It's going to be conservative women protecting women across the country. That's right. Uh, certain issues, tax rates, you know, you can have a middle yeah. ground. You, you want 20 percent, I want 40 percent. OK, it's we'll do 30. But in this case, it's one or the other. Either women get to have their own yeah. bathrooms or they don't. And I, I think your point is so good on the election, which is, look, I mean, as a matter of justice, this is how things obviously ought to be. But Republicans take the win. This is a winning issue. This is an issue that flipped Virginia red. This is an issue that helped DeSantis win re-election in Florida. Take the win, guys. I mean, Republicans, they seem to have this, this nasty habit of clutching defeat from the jaws of victory. So in terms of the raw politics of it, uh, on, on both the resolution and on the, the bill to you know uh, enshrine reality in all the federal properties, is it going to pass or no? Well, well, we'll have to see. I mean, the leadership promised me that this uh, provision would be in the rules package. And now there sounds like there might be some waffling or some quote they call nuance. I'm not here for nuance. There's nothing nuanced about men and women, especially when you're trying to protect women from abuse. And I'm not I'm not going to allow it. Not on my watch. And I'm going to fight like hell for women and girls on the Hill, for women and girls across the country. And the raw politics of this is that this is reality. And we have to fight for our reality. We have to fight for our rights. And it's crazy that in 2024, here we are, just over 100 years since women's suffrage, we're here having to have this debate. To me, there is no debate. This is not up for debate. Yeah. Women get private spaces. And I'm not going to allow some guy, you know, with his genitals out, be walking around in front of other women and girls. I'm just, it's just not, it's not going to be the reality, not in my country, not on my watch and over my dead body. It's so offensive. It's dangerous to women, as we've seen time and time again. And it is deeply disrespectful to force all of us to lie. You know, it's one thing you want to live in. Okay, but you're going to force all of us to lie. You're going to violate the legitimate rights of people. I don't yeah. think so. I mean, I I give a lot of grace to Republican leadership in the House. I know it's like herding cats. I, it's a, it's a tough job. Okay, yeah. but on this one, I, I don't know. I I really hope if uh, leadership is watching or if staff members for leadership are watching, th- this is uh, this is a yes or no kind of issue, guys. This has got to be clear as day. The, re- the, the voters just gave Republicans a mandate to govern, yep. unified government on basic common sense stuff. If they're going to fumble the ball right out the gate like this, Republicans don't, don't deserve to govern. Uh, what you're doing, Nancy, is fabulous. It is really, really important. Thank you for Thank having you. courage, even when a lot of people don't have spines amid all of our anatomical confusion on the Hill. Uh, best of luck to you. For anyone listening, please support Nancy Mace's efforts and 
call your congressman and call leadership and make sure that they uh, that they do what is right and they ensconce common sense in our law. Congressman Nancy Mace, thank you for coming on. Thank you. Let's get them on board. Thank you. That was a great clip. Now stop, ring the bell, subscribe. We will see you next time.